on today's video. What's good, what's good, what's good, family? Welcome or welcome back to another video on the channel, you guys. If this is your very first time, thank you for tuning in. And it's not your very first time, welcome back, family. Today, you guys, we are with this Amazon wig from Sweetie Hair, 613 HD Blonde, 180% density. It comes with two clamps, wig cap, and it also comes with two straps two adjustable straps in the back with also a wig cap with also that little wig band in the back you feel what i'm saying y'all it's 30 inches so let's get into it today this color we are using today we are using temptation kiss not a door we are using temptation kiss you feel what i'm saying and it's called ruby red baby if that color didn't just show you what it was baby it's called ruby red you feel what i'm saying today you guys we are doing a red color fire Baby, when I say set me on fire, set me on fire. But yeah, y'all, today we are doing the Red Ruby. And for some reason, you guys, the ends did not catch. The ends did not catch. If you keep watching this video, y'all, the ends did not catch. Why, I cannot tell you. But I have another video with the same sweetie hair, 30 inches from the same company. And literally, y'all, it took me forever to work the color with the orange and the red hair, just like I'm doing the actual red. I wanted the full red head, but you guys, the ends did not catch. So keep on watching and see how I work this color into this wig. And then it hit that subscribe button if you ain't did so yet. Welcome, 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 family. So y'all, as we was working our way with the second batch, I had lowered the water just a little bit because I felt like that maybe because I used so much at the beginning, it was going to be better if I did less water this time. But y'all, did nothing help. So keep on watching and watch how I literally worked this color. Like, for real, y'all. I literally worked this color for almost an hour. So you guys at this point i think i had literally did this color about four times so far to get this red at the bottom at this point i literally just start making my way to the top and just start really focusing on the top because if anything was to happen i wanted the top to make sure it got that color of anything So at this point, y'all, instead of giving up, I start squirting the um down the, on the ends of the wig, baby. We said we're gonna get this color. So of course she's giving body after a wash and a blowout, baby. Just give it a second and see how it looks when it gets flat on. Yeah, huh? Yeah, maybe the color didn't give, but baby, she did what she was supposed to do. And I was upset, but when I turned out, when I seen how it turned out once I flat ironed it, it was a color that was given, baby. Like I had to. I couldn't wait to. Ooh, I couldn't wait to put it on. So you guys, we have not did a ball cap method in a minute on this channel. So you guys, we are doing our ball cap method today. We are working our spray around our edge line. Just use your finger to spray and put it around your edge line. Don't actually just put the spray directly to your edge line because baby, when I tell you that, it's going to drip down. You're going to be cutting, having um, stocking cap on your forehead that you don't want. So make sure that you cut as much excess cap off that you do not want on there once you get done using the um cutting your excess cap you go in with your alcohol and you wipe around your perimeter get any excess glue off that you have just put on there once you do that you let that dry baby and you go in with a little little layer of glue to lay down that stocking cap before you go in with your six layers of glue i guess i did say six layers of glue no more. 
and all make sure you work around your edge line y'all if you can cut the exact edge line that you have on your head do that because when i tell you that it makes a difference it makes a difference my edge so messed up i really need to go get one i need somebody to go ahead and just edge me up real quick because baby maybe that'll make it easier when it comes to my ball cap method i don't know but today you guys we are using the ruby kisses 15 of course if you ain't got it invested in any yet baby you better invest in the ruby kisses i'm trying to tell you baby she melting like it's my doggone head already you feel what i'm saying but y'all ruby kisses number 15 that's the next step we went into you feel me put it along your ball cap make sure you blend it in get it all down wherever you're gonna put that part at if you got a 13 by six like me put it all over baby put it all over so at this point we flip the wig over to put the foundation on the inside of the lace to make sure that it blends with our skin you feel what i'm saying you want to put any type of foundation along the lace just so it can blend in with your skin because baby it ain't coming out as your skin color so work it in there you feel me also it makes it easier to apply foundation on the outside of the lace also so you guys once we have addressed it the straps we're about to go in with our six layers of glue so we can get ready to lay this baby down lay her down maybe we just love like that so I'm working the wig to make sure that I'm putting it in place, make sure I got it where I want to put it, make sure edge line to edge line, so we can make sure this wig is laid and in, going seamlessly into the scalp, baby, like it's ours. All right, y'all, so we're going in with our first glue session. And we're going to work around our perimeter with a thin layer of glue. Sometimes, you guys, I use thick, but I thin it out with my popsicle stick to make sure that it's not too cakey or anything to make sure everything, each layer is going on smooth and each layer is getting clear. It's very important to make sure that glue clears, clear. Clears, clear, boo. Make sure it clears, clear. Make sure you have no white demarcation around your edge line. But maybe we just saw like that. Yeah, maybe we just saw like that. And it's better to work the popsicle back than down. The way I'm doing it, I'm doing it down. Do it the opposite way that I'm doing it. It makes a big difference. So right now, you guys, I'm just making sure I get that glue as thin as possible on each layer. As thin as possible so each layer can go on smoothly. As thin as possible. So you guys, after six layers, this is how we are looking. This is how we are looking. We might have a little whiteness around the edge line, but that's okay. We can work with it. Trust the process, baby. Trust the process. We went triple platinum only and no nagging. So after the six layers of glue, you guys, we are going to make sure that all hairs are pushed back so we can make sure that we go and lay this wig with any hairs getting in the way. We don't want any hairs getting in the way, so make sure you push the wear, go the wear. Make sure you push the wig hairs back, baby. Slick them back, like you slick them back. I'm gently using my finger or going across my edge line to make sure I'm getting the wig where I want it, but not pushing it too hard into it, the glue. So just in case I need to move it, I'm not pulling up my layers of glue. So once you got the wig in place, take the end of your comb and just comb it like it's your normal hair and just work it into your edge line. Wake up 
Got a million of diamonds that sit on the dress, so uh, run up the check. This choice is optional. Once you finish pressing it into your um, pressing the lace into your head, your scalp, whatever you want to call it, baby. Once you get done doing that, you can go in with the spray around your edge line and go ahead and melt some more, or you could just go in with your band and press it down, or you could just go in and start cutting the lace off, baby. However way you want to do it, either way is fine. Worse than I ever been. Put my heart before the back. Worse shit I ever did. Gave you a set. So after 15 minutes of keeping the band on, we're going to get ready to take it off and go around our edge line and start cutting this lace off, baby. And cut along your edge line, y'all. Everything is literally pertained to your edge line. As you keep seeing, I'm saying, cut along your edge line. Everything pertains to your edge line. It's very important. At this point, I'm just using my finger to push back any spray that I had sprayed around my edge line to get all that lace off, y'all. I don't want any lace that's not supposed to be there, so I'm going to push that lace back and get all that spray that I just sprayed on there and push it back a little bit just so I can cut the lace that I need off the right way, if, that, if you feel what I'm saying. So at this point, I must have pushed it back a little bit too much because I had got along in a piece of that stocking cap and baby, it had start making me sweat a little bit. I thought I had start messing up. I don't know. But y'all, as you see, I'm cutting along that edge line and it, start, it started to look real good. I, I was very proud of myself. Work around your ear to make sure that you get any excess lace off that you don't around, don't you? That you do not want around your ear. When I tell you, baby, the pain that comes around with that wig laying on top of your ear, it's no joke. Make sure you cut off any lace that ain't supposed to be there. You don't want that wig on top of your ear. And of course, y'all, you already know both sides ain't gonna act right. One is your best friend, one gonna be your enemy, and this side right here is my enemy. Cause she act like she ain't wanna go work around the edge line, little heifer. Think about the times we had. I say fuck that nigga that you think you found. And since you picked up, I know he's tired of. I did end up cutting that piece off, you guys. I was scared to do it in the video just in case I would have messed it up, so I just left it alone until after the video was over. But y'all, I did go in and cut that lace off, boo. So once we have finished that and got our lace melted into our scalp, we worked around our edge line, cut along our edge line. Now we're taking our um, Fantasia Express and we're going to spray on our finger and we're going to work it around our edge line on the lace where you see the white demarcation because we want that to disappear. So we're gonna do this two times and we're gonna put the band on for 15 minutes each time. So you guys, this is how we looking after both layers have went on and it's looking really good. So after you have done this, you it's your choice, but I recommend it. Go along your edge line with your foundation. And baby, you can't tell me this to cut and cut my mascara. My mama ain't raised me with no good hair. This is another option. You can take the Wonder Even Spray and you can go along your edge line and you can also melt that into your scalp also, baby. Your girl was trying any and everything at this point to try to make sure that this lace stayed in, on her head at least a month without having to take it off and reinstall it. Only because your girl goes to the gym. So that's why, you guys, we are doing six layers of glue and doing all these processes to make sure that it sticks. You feel what I'm saying? So your girl went in with this foam right behind the Even Spray because I have learned that the foam can also make it lay down but it's a certain it's a specific kind of firm firm it's a specific type of foam that they use which is called erica j foam baby and when i say that it lays it down like it's glue just wait until i go get it y'all i can i'm so excited like i just wanted to try with the regular foam and see how it does but your girl is going to get that erica j <laughs> it's best leave so after 20 minutes of leaving the band on, we're about to see the reveal of the hair. 
And y'all, it was pretty good. I just didn't like the little stuff that you see at the top right there. It was like the glue that was left over. Just take a wipe with some alcohol and just get that off. Just wipe it all off, y'all. Make sure you don't touch your lace because, like I say, the alcohol that you use to wipe around your perimeter is the same alcohol that you use to take off the lace. So be mindful of that. So in the meantime, we finna go on with these ugly baby hairs and see if we can get these ugly gross sisters to look alike. And baby, baby hairs can be your best friend. It's just all in the flick of the wrist, y'all. Flick that wrist, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it's all in the flick of the wrist. <laughs> Lick it like you whipping some mashed potatoes. We are taking the hot comb to lay them down to give them to make them know that they're supposed to go straight. You feel what I'm saying? We don't want them leaning to the side enough. We want the baby hairs to go straight. So we're gonna take that hot comb and hot comb it down. Also take your eyebrow razor and cut that hair off and give it that little slant that you going that you're going for you don't want to cut it straight you want to cut it in a slant your flat irons it basically just give it a better flow when you get ready to put your foam on there and get ready to swoop it it just gives it a better angle to swoop if that makes sense so hard to get the baby hairs to look like they're coming out of my scalp maybe if i in maybe if i styled the wig first and then go in with my baby hairs i would give a better definition of the baby hairs i don't know but next time i install i mean i'm going to try it but y'all this is this is the best it's getting so we went in with our even spray to lay them down some more and then put our blow dry on cool settings and we're going to put that band on and boo watch what it do but there's just one thing i need from you say i do because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away And another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. My love. Now if I wrote you a love note And made you smile at every word I wrote What would you do? Would that make you want to change your scene? So you guys, at this point, we are using a hot comb and we are just styling it and getting it the way that we want. For some reason, y'all, y'all girl always go in with that side part. But in our next videos, you guys, we finna start switching it up and doing styles. Your girl knows some styles. So yeah, y'all, this is how it came out. This is the reveal. Your girl was on her way to work. But y'all, she came out amazing. I fell in love with it. She was a baddie. I was like, okay, you did that. 8 o'clock in the morning, right before work, you killed it. Y'all, she killed it. If you have came this far in this video, you guys, please drop me a red emoji heart. Show your girl some love. 
thank y'all for tuning in. If this is not your very first time, y'all keep coming back. This is your girl. You feel what I'm saying? We family. What you ain't known? Fashion, U-Hauls. We do them all over here. Wig styles, wig installs, wig colors. What do y'all want, baby? Face, makeup. We do it all over here. Don't be scared to join the family, y'all. Hit that subscription if you ain't hit it yet. And enjoy the rest of this video. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. And see you in my next one. Be my baby, wanna be my baby, girl, you amaze me, and girl, I do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love, 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 my